what we're going to be looking at today is fractions to percentages. Fractions to percentages. Percentage, of course, means of 100. So if I had a bar here that was, let's say, 100 centimetres long, and I were to cut it in half, here, I would have 50 centimetres that side, 50 centimetres that side. So casting your minds back, I can say a half is equivalent to 50 over 100, and percent of 100, here we have a bar 100 centimetres long, 50 either side, I can say that this is the same as 50%. And what I've done is I've taken my fraction, I've turned it into an equivalent fraction of 50 over 100, and because percent means out of 100, I've made this into 50%. Let's move on, and perhaps I'll take my same bar, and this time, rather than cut it into two, I'm going to cut it into four. Quite clearly, each of these are going to be these 50s cut into two, so there'll be 25 here, 25 there, 25 there, 25 there. Because four lots of 25 makes up my 100. And perhaps if you cast your mind back, if you've ever visited America, cents, there are 100 in the dollar. So percent comes from that of 100. So what is fraction of this bar is this first portion here. Well, it's one out of four, one quarter. And how many are contained with that? Well, it's 25 out of 100. So I can say, using my equivalent fractions, a quarter is equivalent to 25 one hundredths. And now I take my last step and say this is 25%. We could also, of course, rather than just taking one bar, we could have taken three. And so I've got three out of four, which is going to be 25, 50, 75. Three quarters, as you well know, is equivalent to 75 one hundredths. The step I could do here, if I'm thinking about equivalence, is I multiply my 4 by 25, I get 100. 3 by 25, I get my 75. And my last step is to say this is equivalent to 75%. So 3 quarters is the same as 75%. Now let's take this upper step and perhaps rather than taking the easy option or the easier option of dividing by two and dividing by two again this time a bit tricky to draw bear with me one two three four five Ooh, not quite all equivalent but imagine we're taking a hundred people we're putting them into five rooms i will have 20 there 20 there 20 there 20 there and 20 there so now what have I got? One of these uh, spaces here has 20 people in it, and it's one out of five, so that's one out of five, one fifth, is the same as 20 hundredths. We think about that with our equivalent fractions, 20 out of 100, which gives me 20%. Let's do the more difficult move now, and rather than just take one of them, let's take four of them, so four fifths, which is equivalent to 20, 40, 60, 80, 80 one hundredths, which gives me 80%. So here we have going from my fraction to my percentage. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, 
and say, I think it's full. Brilliant, spot on, well done.